Tonight, the task of perfecting our union moves forward. But despite all our differences, most of us share certain hopes for America's future. Here, here we have 2012, we had the Mormon issue, but in 1960 we had the Roman Catholic issue. Mm -hmm. That's very similar. Yeah. I mean, I wish more people really understood the depth of what Mormonism teaches and what they were asking for with a Mormon. This really gets under my skin when people say this doesn't matter. That, what you're saying is Christian worldview doesn't matter. And I know you didn't say it doesn't matter. I mean, you're talking about a guy who thinks he's going to be God someday and in the meantime has a denominationally imposed underwear fetish. But we're after the same goal. Well, the question is how you get there. Right. That's, that's what the real issue is. Now we will disagree, sometimes fiercely. Progress will come in fits and starts. It's not always a straight line. It's not always a smooth path. You got too many Christians who give up too soon. They've just, they've given up. These people are long-term and they're relentless. I mean, I had people tell me all kinds of stories of the corruption within the Republican Party. Well, the thing about the Democrats is that their corruption isn't corruption within the party. <laughs> That's, that's the thing. Yeah, you've got all these people who are against socialized medicine, but they have no problem with socialized education. education. You have ignorant people voting. You, you're telling me your kid, who you have not taught Christian worldview, by the way, is in there evangelizing kids teachers? Be, kids are supposed to be quiet in the, in the school. Reversing a downward spiral depends on accepting a new approach. Expect the rapidly expanding homeschooling movement to play a significant role in the revolutionary reforms needed to rebuild a free society. Really, in order to change this at the top, you got to change family government and church government because family governments control the educational process. We don't need this up here in order to do this to them. This Absolutely. Too. It's, it's very simple. If Christians do not take this principle and apply it across at least these areas of life, which is education, welfare reform, it's local government. If we don't start looking at those things entirely differently from them, what, how can we decentralize these powers and these principles? If, if we don't do that, 